gonna start this video off responsibly, you know what I'm saying? Cleaning up after myself, doing the dishes and shit like a responsible young man. Anyways, what is going on, boys? It is me back with another fucking YouTube video, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all can tell, but uh, your boy's already getting a lot more handsome. That's due to this new diet that I'm on. It's called the carnivore diet, as you can tell by the fucking title. Just this lighting a little bit. There we go. But yeah, I'm gonna get into that. Don't worry, I'm gonna talk to you about that in this video. But um, first of all, we're gonna go outside and get some sun, okay, shall we? Anyways, first we had to get the sunglasses. You know, I have blue eyes, they're sensitive, so I need some shit to fucking protect my eyes. Oh, bro, what? What fucking ADHD looks like, okay? My dumb ass left an apple just sitting in my fucking truck overnight that I was supposed to bring in. You know, we're not about to let a perfectly good apple go to waste, so I'm gonna throw this shit in the fridge real quick. All right, but anyways, boys, you know, we out here getting some sun, getting some fucking vitamin D, I believe, whatever the fuck. We're getting vitamins, okay? All right, so I wanna start off by giving some announcements, okay? I wanna go back to Houston uh, next week because they're doing the summer shredding shit. You know, everyone's gonna be there. Obviously, this time I don't wanna go by myself, so I think I'm gonna bring some of my buddies with me and uh yeah it's gonna be a fun time but uh you know it's gonna be hard not to eat out because i'm on this fucking carnivore diet you know it's definitely hard but uh the willpower is there because because we're not we're not no bitch okay we, I'm, I'm, I'm on top of my shit face is all cleared up and shit you know what i'm saying it's just a bunch of perks okay if you haven't seen the fucking joe rogan podcast with jordan peterson and jordan peterson's daughter and all that fucking liver king even says the same shit like, I mean, it's supposed to, like, clear any fucking issue that you ever have. Like, his kids were sick, and, like, they've never been sick again after getting put on this diet. So, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're gonna see what the fuck it's about. I'm, I'm putting myself to the test. We're gonna go to the gym today, as always. Hit a good little training sesh. Dude, I swear, every time you come outside without a shirt, you start to get all itchy and shit. I don't know if I'm just getting crucified by bugs or not, because I live out here in the fucking woods. Front yard right over that hill is just fucking shitload of land, okay? We can literally put a whole carnival in my fucking front yard. I'll walk up and show you all this view. This right down here is my humble abode where I sleep. This is just a fucking trailer. I might turn that into like a fucking hangout room or some shit. A little 360. Look at all of this land, man. There's a pond down there. I'll fish in my shit sometimes. And right up there, that's where my parents stay. So, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a very, it's a very fucking enjoyable time out here. Also, I told myself and I posted on my Instagram story that I would be opening my Instagram DMs today in this video. Uh, so I hope I don't fucking forget. Okay, try to remind me. I don't know how the fuck you'd remind me because I'm just talking to a fucking camera. Anyways, I'm a forgetful motherfucker. Okay, it's insane. I lost like most of my brain cells whenever I drowned at 14 months old. Boy's heart was stopped for nine minutes. Okay, how am I here? I don't fucking know. But one thing I seriously do notice right off the bat from this diet is my skin is like feeling and looking a lot more more healthy so that's fucking really good anyway starting to sweat my ass off so i'm gonna go inside and uh you know get get dressed get ready for the fucking day because i woke up late as fuck what time is it oh my god it's already three o'clock i go to the gym by this time i've just been up fucking around follow my tiktok boys you know the fucking drill finna hit 50k all right boys i think it is time it's time to carry our ass to the gym by the way look at this bag you know what I'm saying? This shit was about a whole fucking band, if I were to estimate. Walking in the gym looking like a rich bastard, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, boys. So anyways, what I was saying, uh, I'm going to go back to Houston next week. I think it's going to be either Wednesday or Thursday, and then I'm going to leave that Sunday so I can make it time for fucking high school! You know, fucking gotta, gotta complete that bullshit. Next week off for fall break, thankfully, so it just fits in perfectly. You know, we're gonna go watch the bodybuilding shows. We're gonna go fucking link up, collab with a bunch of fucking influencers again. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make a name for yourself. You gotta fucking introduce yourself, get tight with everyone and shit. So, you know, we're gonna go to the gym. We're gonna destroy some chest. It's gonna be fun. Chest day is always my fucking favorite. And also about this carnivore diet, basically I've been running it for about four days now. This is the fourth day. I've lost three and a half pounds so far. Really just losing body fat, but you know, like literally the first two and a half weeks of a diet is by far the hardest. I'd say probably the first two weeks. But we're fucking making it, man, okay? I just cooked me a bunch of a shit ton of eggs this morning. And as y'all know, I'm not bullshitting, okay? I post all of my meals on my Instagram story. You know, I've been feeling really good, really healthy, you know what I'm saying? But fuck, bro. If you have a fast metabolism and you're watching this video, fuck you. Okay, I love you, but fuck you. Because it sucks, man. You hear everyone like, oh, you're young. You can just eat cheeseburgers and you'll still look ripped as fuck. Bullshit. Not me, okay? I have a metabolism of a fucking 50-year-old divorced husband. Don't get me wrong, the mass is there, but like, fucking fuck, man. The body dysmorphia gets my ass. So yeah, I don't really have much to say in this video other than I'm just gonna open some Instagram DMs after the workout. So uh, yeah, enjoy this little montage, motherfuckers, and I love you all.
All right, boys, made it back into our humble vehicular. I have my camera on this fucking huge ass tripod still, so uh, so if it fucking looks weird, then just that, that's why. I told you I was gonna open some Instagram DMs, so uh, that's what we're about to do. Have a lot of requests here, so uh, you know what I'm saying? We're about to open all these and see what the fuck y'all have to say. Jaden says, can you twerk? Uh, no, not really, although I do have a fat fucking ass. If y'all wanna see me attempt to twerk one day, then I got you, you know, just let me know in the comments. And your chest looks like an outline of the Fortnite map. I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean. Hey, I followed both of your accounts, your old one and the new one. I am Pizza Boy from TikTok, number one fan. I appreciate you, Pizza Boy. Okay, I love people like you, you know what I'm saying? I love interacting with my fucking people. Yo, Maddox, do you want some free jewelry from my brand? You fuck with it, it could be cool to advertising it. Yeah, fuck off. Fuck, all these are just fucking weak ass sponsorship offers. Okay, that shit's not in English. I don't know what the fuck that is. Hey, I just found you on TikTok. I thought I would DM you on Instagram and tell you that I'm glad I found someone who can be themselves even with acne on their chest. As do I still be able to be confident in his, wait, what the fuck? As do still be able to be confident in his body. Love the physique, keep the good work, man. Keep up the good work. And when you live your life not being insecure about yourself, not worrying what the fuck people are saying about you, Basically just not giving a fuck, your life will be so much better. Bitches will come to you, you'll pull more fucking females, you know what I'm saying? You'll start to better yourself, you'll never be depressed, your mind will just fucking, it'll just automatically know, okay? Because the only person that has control over their own mind is you. We all go through shit, okay? But when you live your life not giving a fuck what anybody thinks, you're gonna be successful, okay? I promise you, everyone that's successful nowadays did not give a fuck still gives no fuck. So hopefully you boys can just take that into consideration. Yo, I've been seeing your TikToks all over my For You page and it kind of got me thinking, how do you keep a strong mind and not let anything get to you? Again, I wasn't always like this, but one day I just woke up and you just have to not give a fuck. All you do is just wake up and say, hey, I don't give a fuck and it's gonna be hard at first. It's gonna be hard to just walk around even if you're fucking ugly as shit, you looked at the way you do, you have bad acne all over your face, whatever the fuck it is, man, you can have one arm. And if you're insecure about having one arm, you can't change it, bro. You just have to live your fucking life that way. Are you just gonna live your whole entire fucking life with one arm giving a fuck what people think about it? No. Live your life being that guy that's cool as fuck with no arm that doesn't give a fuck. People will respect you. That's one thing that comes with it, okay? People are going to respect you so much when you live your life not giving a fuck. People love it when people don't give a fuck. Hey, I'm telling you, bro, look. So a, a bitch just slid in my DMs as I'm filming this video. Who is this sexy man I'm looking at? Yeah, anyway, that's all the fucking unopened DMs that I have for tonight, because I usually answer all of my DMs. So if you, if you, if you guys ever want to get a hold to me, DM me on Instagram, and I fucking got you, okay? So we're gonna reply to all these DMs that we just looked at. And uh, I'm gonna get ready to go home and uh, go see this creepy ass movie. So without further ado, I hope you all enjoyed this video, okay? It's been a blast. So without further ado, thank you all for watching this fucking video, okay? Tune into the next one, and uh, I'll let you know how this fucking diet goes. So um, I'll see you boys in the next one. Toodles. Mwah.